Lost Continent? They discover an ancient city in the Pacific Ocean. On the east coast of the island of Pohnpei, between Honolulu and Manila in Micronesia, are the ruins of Nan Madal, an ancient city in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Is it possible that this is what's left of the lost continent? It has been believed that a lost continent existed for thousands of years. It is mentioned by a lot of historians in their stories, and a number of researchers have set out to find its remains. There appears to be evidence of their existence right now, in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. According to University of Oregon researcher William Ayers, Nan Madal was the capital of the Saudular dynasty, which ruled the region from 500 to 1500. At the moment, all that is visible are the ruins of large basalt structures and temples. The building's complexity has surprised historians. How did they transport such bulky slabs from Ponape's north coast? This is the only place this stone has been dug up. Is Nan Madal evidence of a forgotten country? These ruins past is completely unknown. Everything about it, from its origins to its inhabitants, is a great mystery. Clearly the speculations and legends about its starting point flourish. According to local legend, a wizard flew in from far away and brought the enormous slabs used to build the buildings. Due to the island's geography, large rafts made of coconut palmwood are mentioned in other stories, but this is completely impossible. There are some blocks that have a diameter of more than 14 meters, so there is no logical way to explain how they were moved. The workforce is another mystery. Where did the human capital necessary to construct that kind of infrastructure come from? The nearest inhabited location, Pohnpei, only has 35,000 people today. Since the Japanese were driven out of Pohnpei during World War II, precious metals have been mined there, uncovering newer myths. The soldiers and workers claim to have witnessed some indigenous myths. The one that claims Nan Mandal is only the gateway to a massive submerged city is the most surprising. As a result, this will be the only part of Kanemeso, the city of nobody, that can be seen. Location where the Sun's kings resided. There are a lot of complaints that divers in the area saw enormous buildings, streets, and monoliths covered in corals and algae. This could be evidence that there is more to it. There is unquestionable evidence that the remains of a lost continent may be at the bottom of the Pacific, and that Nan Madal may only be the tip of the iceberg. Did they intend to construct a city adjacent to the ancient god city? The legends of wizardry and wizards represent themselves, while science can't make sense of their development. In addition, it is important to keep in mind that this method of levitating objects is not new to ancient cultures. Numerous monuments, including Stonehenge, Easter Island, Tibet, Tiwanuko, and Egypt, use levitation to move massive rocks to their current location. In addition, it does not appear to have come from a civilization that was close to Christ's time to possess the sophisticated technology required to construct such structures. Is this proof that Earth was once home to an advanced civilization on a lost continent? The investigations are still going on, but can they really tell us what these ruins mean? Will they alter the conventional narrative? Thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe.